April showers bring May flowers, or in this case, more Ray showers. Ray showers, yes. But in honor of spring, uh, health experts from around the country have teamed up to draw attention to the dangers of the sun, the rays, and skin cancer. Cat TV 4's Jill Kuramoto is at the UH Cancer Center with some words about prevention. Good morning, Kenny Mejia. Yeah, here's some statistics that you can chew over breakfast this morning. There are 5,000 skin cancer cases reported in Hawaii uh, each year, and it's the most common and most preventable form of cancer. Now, this starting next week, they're going to be launching a campaign that you're going to be seeing on your televisions. Um, PSAs that are running about how to prevent skin cancer and why the youth in our community are so important in spreading this message. And let me show you a clip of what it's going to look like. Daddy, cover up. We don't want to get skin cancer. Join our fight against skin cancer. So again, the highest risk of skin cancer starts in childhood. And Dr. Kevin Dawson is the past president of the Hawaii Dermatological Society Association. Excuse me. And um, you're telling me earlier that uh, yeah, you, you're seeing the rates of skin cancer rise right. personally, you're, right? Yeah, personally and, and statistically, over the last 40 years, we've seen a steady increase, an alarming increase in the skin cancer rate. And every year, it, it, it seems to continue to increase. Um, and as you mentioned, 5,000 here in Hawaii, over 1.4 million annually every year in the United States. And you're saying that um, at most risks are our are, are children, and that's children. often because they're not thinking when they go out in the sun and the water. And the damage starts early because the damage is cumulative. Uh, you, you know, in, real short bursts are important to avoid. So sunburns and blistering sunburns are important to avoid. But the cumulative risk is there as well. So uh, the sun damage builds up over time. Uh, and more than 50% of our sun exposure as a, as a person is uh, before we're 18 years old. So we need to really protect ourselves at a young age. We need to protect our children now. And then you're telling me also that um, it's really important to to wear sunscreen. I mean, a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, they've heard stories about how it's really not effective. But you're saying that it's, the, it's the still. Sunscreens are still important. Uh, you know, the, the risks of sunscreens are controversial. Sunscreens are important, but so is physical protection. So um, you get seeking shady areas, providing shady areas for our children to play in. Um, wearing hats and, and sunglasses and these newer um, sun protective clothings and shirts which are now comfortable to wear outside. Uh, th that's really an important uh, message that we're trying to get across uh, in combination with the, the Hawaii Skin Cancer Coalition and with the UH Cancer Center. We're, we're trying to get that message out that people really need to protect themselves not only with sunscreens but physically and, and just stay out of those direct rays of the sun. Thanks, doctor. So you heard, it, you heard it here. Doctor's orders, wear your sunscreen, wear some protection, and stay safe when you're outdoors. And those PSAs, again, are going to start running um, next week, so start looking for those as well. All right, back to you guys.